Hi there, today's short video is to help you prepare for a class or get all the supplies ready to make the inside out pouch. This is written by Anila Hoy, and sorry if I mispronounce that. The supplies are listed on the back, but I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of steps so that you can be ready if you're taking a class or if you just wanna get ready to take this to retreat. So step one, you need to pick your fabrics. You'll have a fabric that will show through the front. This is a bag that I am working on. So this fabric will show through the front and when you assemble the bag, it kind of looks like this. So it has a bottom to it. And then these zippered pouches on the front have obviously zippers and then you can see through them. So anything that goes in that pouch um, is visible. So they're a great organizer bag this is one in stages and you want to pick a focus fabric that will show through the vinyl an accent fabric that will cover the edges of the vinyl a zipper fabric that will go to the very top that could be the same as this and then you'll also need a lining fabric and then you'll also need some side gussets so they will go on the side of the bag right here to fill in that void and for me, I chose uh, accent color, so these will go on the sides, so side gussets. And you can also use um, another fabric. This is a handle that will go on one of the sides so you can pick up the bag. So you do need, obviously, some fabrics. The other notions that you will need, you'll need a lightweight fusible interfacing. This is called ShapeFlex or SF101. It has a fusible side and it's kind of bumpy, so that will fuse to the wrong side of the fabric. That's an interfacing or stabilizer. And then you'll need a little bit of a fusible fleece. This can either be the Basel product or a Pellon product. So again, one side is fusible on this. You need a little bit of that. You also need a little bit of Peltex or Timtex. This is a lot stiffer and a lot heavier stabilizer. This goes in the bottom of the bag. And then you need zippers. You need a total of three zippers. So one goes here, one goes here, and then one will actually enclose the whole bag on the top. So you need a total of three zippers. They should be at least 12 inches long. These are 14, so you could use 14 inch zippers and you would need three. The other thing that you could use is zippers by the yard. And that is this type of product. This is one from Sally Tomato. And you would cut your corresponding lengths and add your zipper poles. This is another product. This is a product by Annie. And they have different color zippers with different colored poles. So you could mix and match those. These are both uh, number five. So they're a little bit bigger. They're a handbag zipper, which means they have a bigger pull, which is very nice for bags. This is a smaller style zipper. So it has a little smaller pull on it. You could always add some charms to make that a little easier to pull or fabric. Now you need to prepare some of your fabrics. So there is a little bit of ironing and cutting. I'm not gonna give all the sizes away because they are listed in the pattern. This is the lining piece and that's gonna be one long piece. And you will cut a corresponding piece of the shape flex, which is the woven lightweight interfacing. And you will fuse it to the wrong side of the fabric. So your lining will be one fused piece with shape flex. So get that ready for your class or your retreat. Then you'll need an outside piece, which can be one long piece, or let's say you have a directional fabric like this uh, fabric here. There are directions in the pattern to prepare this in the sizes. And so you cut two of them. And if it were one long piece on one side, the um, bugs would be upside down. So what you do with directional is you would flip it. You would then sew this seam, press it open, and then that would be your big piece that would be on the front. So what that looks like is this. So that has been sewn so that the, the bugs or the Volkswagens are facing different directions. Once you have your outside piece, whether it's directional or not, you will fuse two pieces of Pellon fusible fleece and they will go in the corner of each side with a half inch of revealing fabric. So those get fused 
here. And then after those are fused, you will then fuse a piece of Shape Flex. So this is now your outside exterior fabric all prepared for um, sewing. There are quite a few small strips and these are used for binding. So this, there's one called pocket binding and it is uh, a several pieces and they're cut two by 10. But on these ones, to prepare these for class, you will iron them. So you're going to press them in half, then open it up and press the centers in and then fold it in half again. So you'll do that to all four pieces and those are the pocket binding. When you're looking at the bag, we'll look at this bag here, those are the strips that go on the side of the vinyl. Uh, so that is the pocket binding. So you'll need four of those. And then you'll need two zipper strips. The difference on the zipper strips, they're skinnier and they get fusible on the back of them. This is Shape Flex SF101. So when you're all done, you'll have a strip that has fusible on it and that is the zipper strip. That's one inch by 10 inch, just for reference. And that will go right here. So that's the top of the zipper. So you'll need to get those pieces pressed and ready. And then there is a binding that goes around the whole side of the bag. That's this fabric here. The measurements for that are in the pattern. And that's called pouch binding. So with a pouch binding, it has the measurements and you're gonna do the same technique of pressing them to the wrong side. This is a woven fabric, so it's hard to tell, but this is the wrong side of the fabric. So you press it in half, open it up and fold these two edges in, press that and then in half again. So you'll have a nice long strip and you wanna have those ready before you're gonna get ready to sew your bag. So that is the pouch binding and that goes on the side of the bag. When the bag is all assembled, there is a little handle that gets inserted into the binding and that is um, cut as a larger piece. The width of it is five inches and then you will apply a piece of Shape Flex SF101 to the center and the measurements are in the pattern. This one is the exact same way. You just wanna make sure the width is five inches. That's in half, in half, and in half, and again. So that is that side handle. Here's a finished one that's been stitched. So you do wanna get this one cut, fused, and pressed. Now the side gussets. These measurements are also in the pattern. You will center that fusible. This is again, Shape Flex SL 101. You'll fuse it to the wrong side of the fabric and then you'll fold it lengthwise and press and then in half like a book and press. So you wanna have those two ready for your class or your retreat. And there is a piece that I forgot which is this clear vinyl. You do wanna get two pieces of clear vinyl and pre-cut those to get ready for class. Thank you so much for joining me in preparing for the inside out patch. We hope you enjoy class or whatever retreat you're going to. Good luck and happy sewing.